okay all right so for the benefit of those of you that just joined us um today for the very first time you weren't here yesterday let me just give us a head start a summary okay on what we did yesterday and we started with that for you to become a professional in our business you must become a professional on all of this so the level of professionalism you attain in our business is dependent on the level of professionalism you attain on all these seven core disciplines itemized here so when you say that i want to understand how to build our business what you are saying is that i want to understand the seven core disciplines so when it, in fact one of the things i love about this business is that we have the cost the cost outline is the same year in year out year in year out okay this is not like uh the conventional university course that um you, you your year one you have a different course outline your second year you have a different course outline the third year you have a different you know um thing all together and one of the courses one of the things i've enjoyed um uh, you know while i was in school is this you know once i have a course that starts from the year one builds up to year two builds up to year three is always very 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 enticing but all those courses that they will just be bombarding you with from nowhere for example i did engineering in university and i remember doing a course called boss 101 business 101 what what are, an engineer has to do with business for god's sake and you just tell me they'll just give you one useless book like that to read but i bless god because that was actually when my eyes got open to business a little bit and i was like i said okay I think I, I love the business instead of even more than the engineering course I was studying. So while I was studying engineering, they gave us a course called philosophy and logic. I don't understand. We did philosophy in school. And then there's another one again, is uh, DGS 101, it has to do with English. What am I doing with English in my second year in, in university as an engineer? What am I doing with the English course? <laughs> is it that the one I read in, in secondary school is not enough for me? You know, Nigerian universities, we have a way of introducing useless, useless courses that does not matter at all. Instead of us to leave them, you know, go study the most important things, we'll be wasting our time studying useless, useless courses. What has my methodological engineering has to do with civil engineering? And I did civic 101, civic 101. I, 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 at the end of the five years I spent in school, I didn't even understand the methodological and materials engineering that I studied. Why? Because the five years was spent doing so many things. I'm telling you, doing what I don't understand. I started studying the mentoring from 40 and 5 to the 50. First three years was useless. No wonder abroad, if you attend college, three years you already sound because they have no time teaching you nonsense. <laughs> All right, so um, what I love about this business is that the course outline remains the same. So if you want to get distinction, prospecting, inviting, presenting, follow up, closing down skills, handling of rejections and objections and questions, getting people started, that's people that get connected to the company through you, you must learn how to get them started up properly. Okay? Promoting events. And we have a popular mantra in RDI that says, a life that is not evaluated is not worth living. You have to constantly evaluate yourself on these seven core disciplines. You must be aware of your level of professionalism on these seven core disciplines for you to become a professional. Remember during your foundation class, you watched one of the videos that says, um, that said, amateurs don't get paid in our business, only professionals do. So for you to get paid, for you to earn massively in our business, you have to strive to become a professional. And it's not just in our business, it also applies in every other industry. Always 2% of the people in every industry are the ones earning stupendous income. So much money. Why is there so much of poverty and, you know, mediocrity in earnings is because people don't strive to become professionals. I'm telling you, 
you can become a professional in a, in a business and not earn. It's not just possible. So in the millionaire school, you are being educated, all right? And you'll be given materials, you'll be given trainings, but it's your responsibility to execute on those trainings. I know many of you don't understand the leadership um, stages in RDI, but let me just run them down, okay, just the first three. We have what we call, you come into the business, you are just what we call an honorary partner, a business partner. The first stage is to become a rising star mentor. So in this business, we are mentoring you to become a mentor. As you climb the level of professionalism, you become a mentor. And our leadership stages is such that you don't just jump in there. For example, the first leadership rank in RDI is called Rising Star Mentor. We have so many Rising Star Mentors now that have not been celebrated. We are gathering them together. We're gonna to have a nationwide celebration online for them. And then any of the days we'll be having a fiscal event. Okay, maybe by the end of the year or within the first quarter of next year, okay, we're gonna be giving them, you know, um, we're gonna be honoring them um, specially. So the first stage is the Rising Star Mentor. And what does it take to be a rising star mentor? Two things. Number one, you must have three accounts. And number two, you must have connected two business partners through your sharing. So if you come to a millionaire school, we give you things to share you don't want to share. This one is not having a downline. Through your personal sharing, two business partners connected. It means you are just an honorary partner. So you can have 15 accounts and still remain an honorary partner. So the essence of the millionaire school is to get you right through the ranks of our leadership. From being a, 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 sorry, a rising star mentor, you grow to become what we call an influential mentor, okay? I'm really having serious deep thoughts on the criteria to become an influential mentor. I'll be discussing with the leadership and with other persons for just little ad adjustments um, on the influential mentor criteria. But for now, what does it take to become an influential mentor? There is something we call our 66 structure. You must complete that 66 structure, and then you must have seven accounts. Then you become an influential mentor. And at the level of an influential mentor, there are certain things you start doing. For example, you will start hosting your own millionaire school. If you are in sources at the millionaire school group, I will remove you from that group and make sure you create another millionaire school because at that point in time, you've been you've proven to be a master on certain things. So you can now start running your own millionaire school. So you are here as you know as a business partner. And our our duty is to take you through the ranks of the leadership, get you to mature. And as you're telling those ranks, you are making so much money. All right. So I want you to understand that if you're in the millionaire school, the essence is for you to become a mentor. You have to mentor others. Yes. And you can mentor others in RDI without producing results. And you can produce results without learning, without putting to work, without putting to practice, without taking action on what you are learning. Okay? So when we talk about learning our business, we are talking about mastering the seven core disciplines. So if you didn't watch the yesterday's video, my yesterday video, you can go request from your leaders. Those of you in Alpha Lion team, you can request the video from Eminent Augusta. Okay, she will give it to you. Okay, you must understand what it means to build our business, the different processes involved. And it starts with prospecting. Before someone gets connected to the economic driver plan through your sharing, the person must be prospected first. Someone must have prospected to the uh, uh, prospected the person first, and prospecting has to do with creating an attention. So we're going to be dealing with prospecting today. From prospecting, we get to inviting them to our Zoom meetings, or inviting them to watch our recorded video, or inviting them to witness a presentation. It can be a fiscal seminar, it can be an online seminar, it can be a hosted video online, it can be a watching you watching the video with them. And when they are done witnessing the presentation completely, the next part is to close. What does it mean to close? You must demand for an immediate um, response. 
an immediate action. That's what closing. Get them to reserve a slot. Get them to request, send their request to have a slot reserved and then get them to pay. Collect the payment details, the payment slip and send to your supervising leader. Then the, the fourth one is follow up skills. Now there are some persons that will tell you, I'm interested, I don't have the cash right now. Now you must learn to follow them up. What does it mean to follow up? Follow up means to give them more exposure more exposure on the business, on the benefits of the business. Follow-up does not mean, hello, you told me you'd be registering today. Why have you not registered now? Uh -uh. You are missing something, though. That's not follow-up. Follow-up means to give more information on the benefits of the business. Okay, so from time to time, we send follow-up messages. Okay, so um, uh, all of us saw the follow-up messages of yesterday. Do you know just yesterday alone, two persons made payments? I think I share with you. Two persons. Two persons made payment from follow up yesterday. Just by sending that message yesterday, I sent out. Two persons completed their payment without even calling me. Now, that is what follow up can do. And I told us yesterday that the one major sign, one major uh, uh, yastic you use in measuring the uh, the health of your business is the follow-up list. Okay? If someone asks me, what is it that if you look at now and you can tell me and you can say, oh, the business is, the person's business is growing well, is doing well, or is not going well, one surest place that answers all, follow-up list. I ask the person, is your follow-up increasing So we'll be like, what's my follow-up list like? The follow-up list has to do with the list of those that actually watched our recorded video or they've attended our live Zoom meetings or fiscal meetings and they say, I am interested in this business. And then maybe they pay deposit, they are still part of follow-up because they're not, they've not completed their payments. Or maybe they said, I'm paying in the next one week, in the next two weeks, in the next three weeks, and they reserve their loss. If that list of follow-up is not increasing, then your business is not growing because the fortune is in the follow-up. And I already know that for you to have your follow-up increasing, it means that you must be prospecting regularly. It means you must be inviting regularly. And it means that people are watching the videos and attending the trainings and you are closing on them. So the embodiment of the first three disciplines is the follow-up list being increased. And at every single stage here, there are informations to share. When you are prospecting, there is an information to share. When you are inviting, there is an information to share. When you are presenting, there is an information to share, either the Zoom link or the recorded video to share. When you are following up, also there are informations to share. And do not assume you know what to say. We normally give out, I normally send out two to three times every week, my follow-up scripts. I send it out, you forward it to people. All right, so, so that I won't, I, won't, I won't forget. Remember your millionaire school notebooks? There must be a session. We created a new section yesterday, and we called it, and we called it follow up what? Contacts. So everybody that have attended their live Zoom meeting from you or through you and have watched our recorded video, you have to write down their names there. They are your follow up what? Contacts. Or you can create a broadcast list. And we, uh, we learned yesterday that if you are to add anybody to a broadcast list, make sure they have that your WhatsApp number stored in their phones, else they won't receive your broadcast messages. And then the fifth one is what? Handling of objections. People will throw up questions. Let me tell you this here, is when you are an amateur that you are scared of questions. One of the best moments for me, anytime I'm having a presentation is when I'm closing, when I'm, when I'm done with the presentation and I'm asking people, what areas of the business do you have concerns and you want me to clarify you on? Come on, man. When you know what you are doing, you will be scared of questions. So we can teach you, we have to teach you the different questions. People may tell you, I don't have money right now. These are objections. Um, I don't think I can do this right now. I don't think this is for me. Yes. So we tell you, hey, let me go and consult my wife or my husband. Some will tell you, um, is it not a pyramid scheme? Some will tell you, I don't like selling anything. Now, 
If you have been in my presentations, you will find out that nobody has ever said things like that, except I don't have the money right now. Why? During my presentation, I deal with all of them. So you must learn to handle objections and questions that come up. And we have a training manual on all these things. Then the sixth one is getting people started. Getting people what? Started. And we have a system for it. Anybody that gets registered into our business through RDI, they must go through the foundation class. I have someone in the foundation class for the past two months. He has not graduated, and I'm not ready to graduate him until he concludes his foundation class. That is what it means to get people. People must know that this is serious business. Now, before somebody will register, I will bring the person into my millionaire school. I'll be talking A, the person will be saying B. I don't have time for such. When you are done watching the video in the, in the foundation class, the five videos, you, your brain will correct. If your brain, they go like this, it will align. You will know what you are there to do. You know we are in for serious business. I've seen some people that even get themselves, you know, uh, exit themselves from the foundation class. <laughs> I don't care. And if you are not, if you don't go through the foundation class, it means that you are not in the main WhatsApp group of the team. And it means that you don't even have access to our meetings. You don't have access to our materials. And it means the business will not be better. So anybody you get to register into this business, make sure they go through the foundation class. It's your responsibility, not your leader. So that is getting people started. There's a system for that. And then the last one is what? Promoting events. So the only event and promo we are having right now is our 90 days challenge that will be ending in the next six days. Only God knows who's going to be the winner. Okay? Recruiting 30 persons in 90 days. That's our recruitment challenge. Recruiting 30 persons in 90. Those of you in Alpha Lion team, you know yours is 60 in 90 days. Okay? All right. Good. We are going to be looking at prospecting today. So let's understand. I know many of you that attended yesterday, you already know the sequence, the process, the materials, you have it. But there is this mentality of the mind that I need you to have when you are prospecting. Because some of you, you are sharing those materials right now. You are having access to the materials, the, the text messages, and then you are inviting people. But yet, there are certain things you don't get. Now, um, I, I believe Mama, Mama Juliana is here. Is she here? Okay, I don't think she's here. She's not here yet. Okay, she, she shared with me her ordeal with someone she was being uh, invited to a business meeting, you know? <clears throat> and then um, I wanted to talk about that today because it's very, very vital. There is a mindset you must have when you are prospecting to people. So let's get to see, um, get to learn the details, all right, when it comes to prospecting. Okay? Now, the word prospecting means to search or to seek. The word prospecting, the word prospecting means to search or to seek. If you check the, dis the dictionary meaning of prospecting, it means to search out. It means in searching out, you can also use the word to sort out. It means there must be a pool of contacts. There must be a pool of people. All right? So that's why in prospecting, you don't prejudge people. So I can have like... 200 persons now, and I send them a message. The message I'm sending to them is a prospecting message, and the essence of that message is to search out, is to seek out those that are interested. You don't assume that they must be interested. So the word prospecting means to search out, to seek out. And please, do not look at people and say, I've, I've come to a training. I don't know whether, I think it was Eminent Augusta, when I was mentoring her at just. I think she was the one. There was a training I'm supposed to have. Please unmute yourself, man. I think, you know, um, during the break time, she told me that, hi, everybody here is a student, too. And I gave by a mandate. I just read out. I told her, you must get me three people registered. He said, ah, now young, young people, they uh, they be like a student, too. We no get money. I don't know. Eminent Augusta, please, can you unmute yourself? Let me be sure, because I don't like saying things I'm not sure of. Guess what happened? I told her, you must get me three people registering. Eminent Augusta, do you remember at their restaurant, the restaurant, the restaurant hall? Do you remember? Hello? Yes. Good. 
She ended up coming out from that training with two people registering and with three accounts from them. Complete those days, we know they do anything like deposit now. Complete payments. People, she said before the break that they are students, so they are young people. Oh, they are, what do you mean? They are, students and young, they are the ones that have money. They are the ones that want to do something to make money. They are the ones. I'm telling you. They are the ones. Very, very vital. So don't prejudge on people. Don't say, ah, you know, they will not. Now, to our business, it's a process of creating attention. So prospecting as a tax is to create an attention or a desire or interest on what the RDI NGO campaign does. Watch this. On what the RDI NGO campaign does and how it can change someone's life. You see that? Anytime your prospect is about RDI, what RDI is doing for you, what's going to impact, is to create an arousal, is to create attention. So the primary goal of prospecting is to get an appointment, to share the business in detail. When you are done sending a prospecting text or you make a prospecting phone call to someone, the response should be, I want to know more about your business. Then you can now send them an inviting text to either attend a live Zoom meeting or to watch a recorded video. And listen, prospecting is a number game. The more you prospect, the more appointments you're going to have and the more sales you generate. You Nobody had gross prospecting. Nobody had gross what? Prospecting. That's one of the greatest pitfalls. We we'll call it one of the one of the things we call the management trap. You come to a place in uh, you know as a leader, you now say, ah, eh, eh, I get plenty of people now. Can you imagine? I'm the top earner in RDI, but yet I'm still prospecting. And I always tell myself, nobody will ever prospect more than me every month. Even though sometimes I have some crazy dudes in my team, like Emilio Augusta, Mr. Tobechuku, Mr. Arinze, they are crazy. Sometimes in the month they can prospect more than me, but I'm always kind of like pushing myself. Don't ever get to a point where you say, my work now is to manage people that are under me. You don't try that. Can you imagine Coca-Cola company saying, ah, we are tired of new, new people. We are tired of new customers. Now let's be managing our existing customers. Do you know that today Coca-Cola still stands to be one of the people, one of the companies that spends most money advertising, and yet is one of the largest companies conglomerate in the world? But you are still putting up adverts. If you allow Coca-Cola, they will brand your underwears for you. You've not seen anything. That's how dangerous it is. If you allow them, they will brand your house Coca-Cola. They will brand your clothes Coca-Cola. They will brand your food eating Coca-Cola. I'm telling you. Because they want everybody to keep seeing what Coca-Cola. That's exactly what it is. Let me give us a typical of prospecting. How many of you have seen the message, maybe from MTN saying, with 100 Naira, you can get 10 gig. They will not come and put terms and conditions apply. They will not put a code, they will die. With 100 Naira, you can get 10 gig. How many of you have seen such? And then by the time you now recharge the 100 Naira, and then you now type the code. They will now tell you that um, the 10 gig will expire in the next five hours. So if you don't use the next five hours, it will be gone. <laughs> How many of you have seen that before? How many of you have seen such? Exactly. The essence of that billboard, 100 naira, 10 gig, is to create an hunger in you to get the thing. That's what prospecting does. In prospecting, you are not telling people you will pay for 4888. In prospecting, you are not telling people about products or services. In prospecting, is about business projects, business support, having a good lifestyle, having wonderful dreams being met, making having daily income of 210000 Keep talking about the benefits, not the process. Forget about the process to get to the benefits. That's not your duty at that time because you need to create a hunger. Why is this thing so important? When there is no hunger to know more about the business and you send the video to the person, the person will not be done watching the video. You will see, they will tell you, the man is talking too much. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. I know one. List. How many of you have heard that before? Let me see what you heard. They will tell ah, the man they talk too much. I beg, I beg. I know one watch the video. The video is too long. It's because there is no hunger in them. And number two, there is another reason. There are some persons that many of you have watched the way I present. I don't present to people that have. 
that you know, I call them chicken lily livered people. Hey, once you see people that are lazy and they don't want to change, when they listen to me, they get provoked. How many of you have noticed it also? They get very angry, very, very angry. Because maybe they came to they come to a presentation, they expect someone to be, you know, be, people like lies, they like lies, someone to be pumping them. You can make it, just rent, put your money, money will be coming. And then now come, someone is telling them, if you're not willing to be mentored, if you're not willing to be trained, and then if you're somewhere here, four million dollars is too much for you, the business is not for you. Why don't you disconnect from the meeting? When people hear that, they are hard to be boiling, 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 boiling. I had a man that told me, Jiden also, Kai, you can talk, oh, you be like, make I just slap you, but eh, the thing where they talk, eh, the thing not true, but the thing was beating me, it was as if someone told you about me, and yet this is someone I've never met. So there are some persons that, instead of them to stand their own shame, because whenever I'm talking, I'm talking to people's weaknesses and strengthening them after I'm done talking there. Instead of them facing their life, they will just get angry and disconnect. One of the major reasons why people don't stay true is when they don't have an idea. When you tell them this is about changing your life, this will change you. This will radically transform your life. Look at what you start to benefit. The man you are hearing today, he has made millions and he has created millionaires. If you have not gotten the training on how to introduce a leader or a trainer before giving, before uh, 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 before uh, giving them the video to watch. Go get that video and watch. Ask your leaders for it. There is a training on how to introduce a leader. Ask your leaders here. They will give you that training. I've done that training before. So there must be an hunger in people for them to enjoy the presentation. All right. So we have two golden rules in prospecting. Number one, never you call a prospect, a person a prospect in their presence. A friend of yours you are trying to call, don't ever tell him, don't you know you're my prospect? Don't try that. Don't try that. Whenever you use such words, they feel used. Then number two, don't be in a hurry to share our business in details. Some people, when you send a prospecting message to them, they will tell you, can you tell me more about the business? How many of you have noticed that before? Oh my God. Can you tell me? Can you see? Tell them, see, everything you want to know is in the video. Don't ever get pushed to the point where you start talking. Don't ever. <laughs> I have a secretary here. I just I remember when she when she got employed, okay, and she's sending out my videos. Whenever I have contact, she's do, you know, they send out videos. People will be like asking her, Can I know what the business is? Can I know what the business is? And she'll keep bombarding me. I said, No, that your responsibility is to tell them, attend the live zoom. And anybody that tells you, I cannot attend. It's very simple. Put it to the person directly. I'm sorry, sir. It's very, very obvious that you are not interested in the business. And if you're not interested in the business, there is no need we chatting up. If you want to know more and you are interested in changing your life and you believe our business can help you, go through the process. Go through the video. I'm sorry, sir. You must stand. Do you know why? See, if you give in, I, I understand how people behave. Listen, you can never explain the business, even if you're a professional, you can never explain the business in five minutes. I've never tried it to someone. I've never tried it. Even I, as your top leader, someone is telling me, it's better you keep the person hungry. My dear, I'm so, so busy. It's going to take us about 30 minutes to 40 minutes to explain this thing out to you. But if you, let's just, you know, have some time, you know, you know have um, lunch. Maybe we'll, let's talk about this or you can watch the video. I don't, I've never carried my phone to explain our business on phone for somebody. I've never done phone presentation. I've never tried it. And don't think you can do it. Trust me. Don't think you can do it. Don't fall that trap. Don't fall into that trap. Don't fall into that trap. Never. So your aim is to get an appointment. And when you send a video to people, please make sure you ask them. Tell them this. If I ask them this, if I send you this video right now, would you watch it in the next 24 hours? Listen to what I said. If I send you this video right now, if I should send you this video right now, would you watch it in the next 24 hours? What are you trying to get from them? A response, a commitment. Okay, I'm going to do that in the next six hours and I'll get back to you. All right, when you're done watching the video, get back to me. 
if I send you the meeting link today, would you attend? All right, so always know that. Now look at the fundamentals of prospecting. How do you see yourself? This is the most important aspect of this training. Do you see yourself as someone who is in need of people to grow his business? Or do you see yourself as a solution provider? One who is to serve and help others in achieving their own goal, bringing value to them. If you are to achieve great success, you must see yourself as the latter. And that is, you must see yourself as someone who is to serve others with a solution to their problem. The secret to extraordinary success in life lies in providing value to others. Just like Ziegler will say, you can get everything in life you want if you will just help enough other people get what they want. Now, let me say this to you categorically. You don't beg people to join you in the business. You must assume a posture of support. I'm the one helping you. I'm the one that is connecting you to something that will change your life. Yes, you combine it with empathy. Don't allow your ego to overrun you. You must have to balance your ego and then your empathy. I get what I'm saying. So don't put yourself in a place where you're as if you are begging. See, if you beg somebody, let me. I told Madam Juliana, I wish she's here. I told Mama Juliana of a man that shouted out, but I said, Madam, if this man here is complaining about meetings, is complaining about training, one of the things I have found that is this: anybody that is hungry for success enjoys training. The person wants to, he needs someone that will guide him. And a prospect, someone that watched our video and is complaining about training and support. That one are wrong market. Just put them for your general follow-up please. Don't stop talking to the person. Just be sending him messages. The day in life teaches him a lesson, he will join you. You must balance ego with empathy. You must understand people's, you know, afflictions and challenges, and then apply wisdom in reaching out to them. But please, while you are doing that, do not beg. See, don't ever come and tell people if you register, don't do anything again in this business. You are killing your business for yourself. Rather, if you register, I'm going to be with you. I'm going to work with you. I'm going to make sure you succeed. Don't ever try telling people, once you register, don't do anything at all at all. I will do everything for you. Even you yourself, have you done everything for yourself? So why are you trying to do, why are you trying to claim to do everything for someone? Why? You are claiming to do everything for them, and yet you've not done everything for yourself. Can't you see it's a lie? You are lying to yourself. Let me tell you, we made those mistakes. Just build, just connect. If you connect, nothing more. As others are connecting under you, you are making money. The truth is this. That thing is half truth. As others are connecting, you are making money. And you tell the person, don't do anything again. I will never say such. Yes, as others connect under you, you will make money. But I'm sorry, you, you must share the information. That is why I have that slide, that page that says how to start and succeed in the business. You will buy a business lot. You will join the RDI Millionaire School. We provide you with the business tools and materials. You submit your bank account number and you share information. You share the information. You join the Millionaire School, you share the information. How can you register somebody in the business you tell the person you won't attend Millionaire School, you, you won't do anything again. You are, you've killed your own business. Now, I don't have time for so. That's why I'm not having a headache. I'm enjoying my life. If I'm done talking, can't you see my Jesse today? Is, thank God it's Friday. Mm -hmm. Now, now day. can't you see? When I'm done, I'm, I will just go out there with my people. We'll just go out there to where they are selling uh, ram suya and eat some ram suya and then eat some, you know what I say? I hope you, and, and some mansa. <laughs> and, drink, and drink some malt. And nobody, we, if we want to eat chicken, we go to Rayfield, we are eminent to Augusta. Those days she used to be in Joss. She knows how to show us joints. People like me, I don't know how to know joints. In mean, Augusta, they used to live in Joss. There's a place she showed me where they eat roasted chicken. Very sweet roasted chicken, well packaged. Yummy. I'm telling you, I eat it. Oh my God. Mr. Toby, you say you are missing this year too. Come on. If it's gizzard, I know where to eat gizzard. If it's fish, I go to West of Mine and buy some fish, fresh fish, and eat, man. <laughs> Nobody will point a hand at me and say, he collected my money, he ran away. He deceived me and he ran away. See, all these things are not, they are not, no, 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 no. You don't need them. You don't, that's why anybody, I don't leave any, I don't leave people in this business. People leave me. 
I don't leave anybody. If you think I will leave you, you are joking. You, know, you better go block my line. Change your line. Change everything about you. Because if you think I will, if I see you online, I will chat you up. Block me. Live that kind of life, Joe. Live that kind of life. You must, you must do this business knowing that you are the one bringing value to people. You know what I'm saying? I'm the one helping you here. That's why sometimes when I'm closing on people, I will tell you, my dear, quit wasting time. You are, you are wasting your time and your dream. Let's get to do this thing right now. Stop wasting time. You have this for 488. Let's do it now. We, you know, say, we, we, when, when you understand, when you have this kind of mentality, you will be you you will know what it means to you will know what it means to close on people with ego. Do you have my number? Let's do it now. Contact the number of the director. Let's get started right away. I'm gonna take you back. I'm gonna make sure I'm there for you. Yes. All right. Um, please, before I forget, where is Madam? Um, is she here? There's a woman today. Uh, madam, 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 madam. Where, where is she? Where is she? Where? Hey, she's not here today. And can you imagine when I was having, I had a very short prayer today, and I remembered my partners in prayer. I bought her name, just keep ringing in my ear. And I said, even sent her a message today. But the message I sent to her today, I want to send it, I want to really talk about the message to everybody because I believe it's for everybody. Where is Madam um, Murayo? Yes, Madam Murayo, where are you? You know, we are quite so much today. I'm telling you, I'm going to talk about that. It's still part of what I'm talking about. Okay, let me just talk about that now because part of what I'm saying. You know, so, so you know, when her name came to me, you know, I remember her face and everything. And, and then, I, you know, it was just done on me. This woman is a, I, I feel in my spirit, she's someone that is well trusted. She's someone that is well respected and then everything. Yeah. And in my spirit, I just feel that maybe she's holding back. Now, listen to me carefully, all of you. All of you, listen. I don't know. I don't think she's not here. Okay, but I, I know she will watch the video. I sent her a message privately. Listen to me, if you think I don't pray for you people, you are joking, you know, I pray for all of you. If I don't know you in person, I put you in the general prayer. But those of you I know, if once I know your name, I go call her. I'm telling you the gospel truth. I they call people by name. You must talk, say, Toby, you must make money in this business. Lie, 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 lie. Toby, you must be numbered. You, I've seen you. You must be a global ambassador. It is a must. Whether you like it or not, you must be a global ambassador. Eminent Augusta, you must become a top 20 NI in Nigeria. Whether you like it or not, you must you must become an you must become a, a diamond and a ruby ambassador. Must I call people by name? So, Madam Agnes, you must become a top NI in Nigeria. What do you mean, Mama? Mama Mezurike, grandmother, she's one, she became top one in Nigeria. You must be a top one. I must produce a top one in Nigeria. I pray for people. Now listen to me carefully, all of you. Listen to me. If you think you will survive in this business by playing pranks, by playing hmm, not them, not be me. Let me tell you on time, you will not succeed. You must become an embodiment of RDI. RDI success is your success. Some of you listening to me today, you are well respected in the society. What something from seeing so do you know what? There are places I walk into and they say, Come on, if it is Mr. Cisco, if you understand also. I'm in, I'm in. I will not be the one coming them down. Calm down. Let me explain well to you, okay? Let me explain well to you. Many of you, there are people you have in your life that you can tell them, do this. I am in it. You know I can't lead you astray. There are, don't you have people in your life that if you tell them that they, so, that believes in you, that you cannot lead them astray? Do you know one of the best currencies in business? People don't know that. You think it's money. One of, you think you only use money to buy things. You are joking. One of the best and the most as a valuable currency you have in life and in business is called integrity and trust. And many of you, you are not cashing into it. That's the reason why most people die poor. You've lived a very wonderful life. You, you've not, there's nobody that will ever tell you today that I ate his money in this life. For what? That's one thing I don't joke with. I don't joke with it. To so say, I owe you, I ate your money, I lie, lie, it has never happened. And I'm cashing into it very well. You built wonderful relationships, wonderful friends. It is time to cash in into those relationships and you are playing prank. And you want to introduce the business to people. You are telling them there is one company, there is one NGO like that. One NGO like that. You don't want to let them know you are part of it. You don't want to call out to them and tell them, you know I can't lead you astray. 
Why are you acting up this way? Let's do this together. I will make sure that you succeed. I'm going to work with you together with the director. I'm going to make sure you are work with the analyst ambassador mentoring me. We mentor you and we make sure that you're going to make sure that you succeed. Cashing into your integrity, cashing into your trust. That is what I told the woman, Madam Moriah, today. It's a cashing. Cashing into your relationships. You have siblings, you have relations, you have friends, you have colleagues at work that knows that you, if it is you, you can't deceive them. Why don't you cash in into it? See, let me tell you, I believe if, me, if all of us were cashing into our relationships, trust me, all these things, you will see, you will see us making millions and millions, everybody making millions. In less than one week, you have left and right, two people connecting left and right. And the two people connecting, cashing into their own relationship, left and right, I'm telling you, you are working for somebody. Your guy believes in you. Your guy, you have never stolen money from your guy. You've never deceived your guy. Your guy believes in you. Do you know what it means? Your guy leaves his business and everything in your hands. He believes in you. You are his number one business partner. Cashing into that relationship. Stop playing all this game of um, uh, one NGO like that. I saw them online. Oh, they are okay. Oh, they are fine. Oh, what do you mean they are? They are. They are. So you are. You are. You are. So you are trying to get your friend a bosom friend into something you cannot you are not proud of <laughs> and you want to be a top earner that's what i call daydreaming i'm telling you on time the reason why many of you you cannot connect your friends you cannot connect your family members you cannot connect your colleagues you cannot connect what we call your warm prospects because i want to deal with that now warm prospects that's people you know is because it's not that they take you on serious. Yeah, there's a part of it that if you've been messing up, okay, they will take you to be on serious. But it's because you don't want to put your integrity on the line. Cashing into that integrity. Can you imagine coming out on, the, on, on, the, on, on a national pro program, 8 p.m. every day, and announcing, you do this business in 90 days, don't start generating income using our system. I write you a check. Can you imagine that? How many of you can do that? As I said it myself, why don't you cash into it? Do you know that? See, you are scared. Don't worry. I will connect you to our director. Do you know that if, if in 90 days you don't generate income in this business, following our system, exactly as it is, you can't run my 90 days challenge doing everything I say you should do without having at least two, three, four, five percent connecting with you. It's impossible. Hey, there must, someone must be deceiving himself. Someone must be lying to himself. Invited 20 persons every day for the next 90 days. You must be lying to yourself. There must be somewhere you are lying to yourself. You are not putting in your integrity on the line. You are not bringing in your personality. Do it and see the wonders happen. That's part of prospecting. You must see yourself as someone that is bringing help to people. Now, there are words you never use in prospecting. For example, network marketing. Never you use the word network marketing while you are prospecting to people. Always use the word business opportunity. Because the word network marketing is actually a word that is, as in, it, it, it creates, it reminds people of something negative in Nigeria. They see it as mere hawking, selling a product. So they have a negative feeling about network marketing. There is nothing wrong about network marketing. It's only a system of moving products and services. I'm telling you. And Ponzi schemes can also use network marketing. They can, also use, they can also use it. But what makes a genuine network marketing genuine is that there are physical products and services that affect mankind. So you have to use the word business opportunity. For example, hi, idea. This is great. So there is this great international NGO helping people to raise funds for their projects via their business support program. I just submitted your contacts. Their consultants will call you for more information. You see that? Hello, hi. I'm working on a unique part-time business project with a free support from an international NGO in raising funds for some of my business projects. Would you help me with an honest review on the project? Never you use the word network marketing. Yeah, there, sorry, there's this network marketing company I joined. There's this network marketing company I became part of. Very, very wrong. Don't ever do that. Always use the word, there's this international NGO I'm working with that is helping me. There's this business support program I'm involved in through the help of an NGO being, you know, supporting me in building the business. So never use the word network marketing. Never. Let's, let's be sure of that one. Now, there are two kinds of persons you will meet. People you know, 
your family members, your friends, and your colleagues, okay, they are called the warm market. And these are a set of people that stand more chances not to take you serious. They are always smaller in number. Okay, so you can't depend completely on them for the long run. You know, one of, one of the things I normally do is this. My family members, people I know, once you get, what I tell people, once you get involved in the business, bring in your integrity into the line, get it straight to them quickly. I'm telling you. But while you're doing that, be very smart to follow our scripts. Use our script because our script, there is something about our script. Our script is mixed with direct and indirect invitation. What do I mean by that? You are saying you are part of us, but at the same time, you are also recommending the RDI, like a third party. Okay? So you are part of issues, that's credibility. You know much about it. Then a third party, but at that standpoint, it's clear you just knew. You just got in. So you don't know much. There's an NGO helping you. There's an NGO that can tell you more about it, which is the third party. All right? So people that know us so well, they respect more of the third party. But many of you don't know that. That many of you don't know that it is the integrity or rather the feeling that they get from the fact that you're already connected and you know what you're saying that makes them respect more the third party. Yes. I'm telling you. So make sure you use our scripts effectively. And then you have people we call the, the, the code market. The code market are people you don't know. They are so much in number. These are persons that would, at the first time, they can take you serious so easily if you can take care of a few things during the presentation, which obviously we've done that for you in our presentation. So you don't present to anybody except if you've been taught. Then look at what we call the cross-person what process. You must always use the script. Never assume you know what to say. That is why our business project is called Share It, Get Paid. Starting from prospecting down to promoting events, there are informations to share. Make sure you use our script. Rehearse the script until you can emotionalize them while you are saying them, especially if you're making a phone call. That's why I love text messages a lot, because in text messages, there is no emotion. But if you're making a phone call, please make sure you can emotionalize that script. My dear, do you, there is an NGO, there is this, you must show that emotion. But if it's a text, it's easier. All right? That's why I love text a lot. Then don't try to convince people. Don't try. Rather use our tools to sort out the right persons for you. And then the last part is what everyone is a prospect. Never you prejudge. Never you say, this person will join me. He will not, not, don't say that. Everybody is a prospect. Now, while you are prospecting, every script we give you covers the most important ingredients of prospecting. Because every time you are pros prospecting someone, people want to know that you can be trusted. Don't assume that people will believe whatever you say. Yes. All right? Need. People want to know that they need what you are trying to give to them. People want to know that you are sure they are sure of your support. And then while you are prospecting to people, you must create a sense of urgency. My dear, they are selecting only 2,000 persons. My dear, this is just a limited slot. The NGO gave me 10 slots, and I'm giving you one of them. Please make sure you attend the live Zoom meeting. Make sure you attend the Zoom meeting. Okay, they gave me 10 slots, and I'm sending the video to you. So are you sure you're going to make our time and watch this video? Because I don't want to waste my time. And it's closing soon. Always create a sense of urgency while you are prospecting to people. Very, very, very important. Okay. Um, then the rest has to do with the tools you use for prospecting. You can use invitation cards. I have so many invitation cards here for prospecting. This is one that we share mostly. Um, you can see this. It's like a questionnaire flyer. Okay. Those of you in Lagos, I sent about 4,000 copies to Lagos recently, terminate to Augusta. And some leaders in so many other centers do have this. Okay. You see a questionnaire. It says, a free 10 months assistance to raise three to 25 million naira through their business support program or group. Okay, family retirement funds, car funds, housing funds, education funds. And we wrote and said, Note, only eligible people will be given access code to discuss with uh, our project professionals. And then they will have to drop answer some questions. Do you wish to build a business? Do you wish to have a paid job? Uh, would you want us to support you in raising funds? When they're done filling, they put out their names and their phone number and the date, and then that's all. So they tear it out and give you. So this is just one of the invitation cards you can use. You can use talking DVDs, okay? You can use text messages. The other day, I think yesterday, Mama Agnes and Mama Kayin, they, they use questionnaires in one of the local government. I think I saw the picture somewhere. I saw, the, I saw it in some of our WhatsApp groups, okay? You can use the questionnaire. If you don't have access to these tools, you can demand them from your leaders. They will give it to you. 
You can use also letters of invitation. We have sample letters that you can submit to organizations and they will invite you for a special talk. And when they invite you, make sure before you're doing that, make sure you are you discuss with your leader. Okay? Else, if they call on you, that means you have to play the recorded video for them. Very, 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 very important. Very, very important. You play the video for them to watch and then you close on them. You can also prospect on Facebook. Social media is one of the most powerful tools. In fact, for the past two years, from sorry, for the yeah, so since from last year to this year, more than 99% of my personal sign-ups has been all social media. Very powerful. Prospecting on your personal profile, on your status, on your Facebook stories, on your every day on your WhatsApp status. If you don't have anything talking about RDI support program, yeah, I think you are not yet possessed. Every single body person I've seen that are very that is very successful in the business. Trust me, all of them branded themselves with the business, RDI. In fact, um, Madam, uh, Madam, it was Madam Blessing that says she's been called Madam RDI. Madam RDI. They will say, RDI, I don't color your head. You must become, you know, a, a RDI personified. I'm telling you, you can go to the point of buying some polos and brand it RDI. Get the look of, uh, brand it, uh, get a face cap, brand it RDI and carry it anywhere you go to. Go to the extreme to represent what you believe in. I'm telling you, when people now nah, this is your RDI thing, say don't become too much. Can I know much about it? Can I know much about it? Can I know something about it? Can you tell me more about it? Become an embodiment of RDI. Fly the color everywhere. The polo you are wearing, anything you are doing, let it be about RDI. I always tell people, be a mixed martial artist. I use the word martial artist because I love martial arts. My dad is a black belt holder in karate. And then uh, uh, he didn't go into judo. So I have books and materials, videos on karate. He didn't want me to go into karate anyway. I later lost the interest to business. But I still love fighting. And I think that has helped me a lot in fighting the fight of life. Because in life, it's like a fight in the ring. And I always say it, if you don't fight for what you want in life, what you don't want will automatically take over. You will get knocked out. So for me, you want to succeed exceedingly, you must learn to fight. But when you are fighting, learn to be a mixed martial artist. Okay, learn to fight with different tools. Learn to use the invitation cards. Learn to use the test messages. Learn to use the questionnaires. Learn to use the special letters. Let me tell us, there's one man I know at Gombe State that in one month, he sent more than 30 letters to different organizations, all the parastatas, everywhere, more than 30. It was, it was as if it was not working. There was a period he came to every week. This guy will get like two or three invitations. Now, so with the worker, they do presentation, civil, uh, civil defense, police, military barrack, church, everywhere. And this guy was getting sign-ups as the business was booming, booming. And the people are joining, we are duplicating, we are mentoring them, putting them to a mentorship program. I'm telling you, invitations can be very powerful. Now, if you are where your leaders cannot come, someone like me, I don't move around a lot. I don't lie you. In fact, before I come to your center, Number one is that you must have held seminars there, meaning that you must have started learning how to present. You must have held seminars there like two or three times before I come and hold presentations for you. Number two, you must make sure that you are sitting me not less than 200 new persons, not partners. In fact, there's one I did in Sokoto. I told Augusta, I need 300. They gave me 600. You want me to come? That was the second time. If you see the hall they use, like a mini stadium, 600 people, filled up there. Come and see, come and see where people will be lining up to do registrations. You want to call on me is a special invitation because as you can see, I work more online and for everybody. Okay, so pulling me out and pulling your leaders out. Don't, let me say, those of you in Lagos, I will say this emphatically. Those of you there over there in Lagos, hey, make on a milk Augusta well now. Make on a utilize eminent Augusta very well now. There is no top leader that stays in location and stays there for life. A time we come where she cannot move around so, so, so much. You want to do something, you will come, she will mentor you. Every week now, she's doing Project 100, Project 100. You think she would do this thing for the rest of her life. You are joking, no? There was a time I was doing like that. Like now, I can't do like that anymore so much. I only move on heavy, heavy occasions because I have to operate from, a, from an office and because I have a lot of things to give to the team nationally. That's why we are mentoring you to grow and mature so you can start taking some responsibilities. 
All of you in Lagos, she being around in Lagos is a great blessing to you. I'm telling you, and I pray that you people are appreciating her well. That's a training for another day, learning to appreciate your leaders. I'm telling you, people that sacrifice for you to make sure that the business is moving smooth, so smooth for you. I'm telling you the truth. Learn to appreciate her. She's doing quite a great job over there at Lagos. I'm seeing the banners. I'm like, I say, man, this lady can walk. And she still holds the millionaire school. And she comes to the office. I heard that. There, are, there is these two days every every week that the office is open. She is open to meet you with meet you one on one. I think it should be Thursdays and Fridays. Meet you one on one every day. So every Thursday, Friday, one on one. Still holds millionaire school. Still does project Andres. My dear, this one she give past me. She sacrificed past me. I'm telling you. Seriously. You people have to learn to appreciate her very well, though. and boy, more importantly, and more importantly, learn from her, tap from her grace. I always tell people one of the easiest ways to tap from someone's grace is to serve the person. What does it mean to serve the person? Learn, learn so fast that you can tell her, "Ma'am, let me be the one to do presentation for you. You can be doing Monday, let me be doing Tuesday and Thursday." Okay, ma. Anybody that comes to learn comes to uh, uh, is a new person. Why don't you um, present? No, bring them to me. Let me be the one to talk to them. The new people. That's what it means to bring value. That's what it means to serve. When we're talking about serve, it means to bring value. When you are learning, part of things you are learning, don't be thinking about your team, your team, your team, your team alone. Learn to serve the team globally. It's not only her downlines that are over there in Lagos. There are so many other partners that are not her downliners, and she's taking care of them. Madam Musumola, you are here. She went and did Project 100 for you. You are not her downliner. Yes. Other teams nationally are connecting to her. Same way also you. When you learn something, don't say, oh, it's only my downline. Serve, serve, serve. Come to her, madam. Uh, what, what areas do you think I can help you? This I can do. There are follow-up phone calls. Okay, you know what? We're going to be coming to do follow-ups. And the more you serve, the more you learn. Don't be doing and busy and busy and busy and busy and busy and busy. You only come to do your own thing at the office at Lagos. All right. So sorry for digressing. Mm? It's part of it anyway. I think I'm done here. Uh, the rest is a sample script we use for prospecting. The rest are the sample scripts we use for prospecting. And if you want to learn about prospecting properly, you can go to one of our books called GoPro, Chapters 5. That's where they talk about prospecting. Now, these ones are the scripts you use. Now, we are going to be giving you scripts, okay? From time to time, we're giving you scripts, the messages to send to people, and then the rest uh, and the rest of that, okay? So, you don't have much of the problem. But remember, immediately after prospecting is inviting. So, prospecting and inviting goes hand in hand. The aim of prospecting is to get someone invited for a live Zoom meeting or to watch our recorded video. It's very, very vital you get that, okay? So, this year, we come to the close of today's training on prospecting. How many of us really enjoy the training? Let me see with your hand. Starting with you. All of you have to start giving me one thing you learned. Um, Madam uh, Reha, can you tell us, can you tell us what and what you learned? You can talk, people will hear you. What did you learn about, pro in fact, what is prospecting? Let me ask you the question there. What is prospecting? Or rather, what is the aim of prospecting? What is the aim of prospecting? The aim is to make did you hear her? She said the aim is to get people join the business. <laughs> is that correct? No, sorry. Huh? That's not that's not correct. That's wrong. You are very wrong. That's very, very wrong. That's not the aim. People don't join you in the business until they've watched the recorded video or attend a live Zoom. So, what is the primary purpose of prospecting? The aim is to make people hungry for the business. Make people hungry to know more about the business. That's the aim of prospecting. Get people to become hungry. They want to know more. Can I know more? Can I know more? Because that hunger is what will make them to pull through during the presentation. They will be like, I can't end. I can't end. I can't wait to end. I can't wait to this person to end. I want to get started right now. But when you don't prospect properly, you know, you get to miss out. And one of the easiest ways to prospect properly is to use the script. Don't assume you know what to say. Use the script. Use the script. Now, someone say is to stimulate people about the business. That's Mama Juliana. That's very much correct. Thank you so much um, for being here today. I'm going to be unmuting maybe just two persons to share with me what they learned. Okay. Um, um, who do I have here? Mr. Ghani Mustafa. Mr. Ghani Mustafa from Lagos. Can you unmute yourself? Mr. Ghani Mustafa. 
kindly unmute yourself and share with me what is that one thing you learned new today from the training? Mr. Mustafa Ghani, can you kindly unmute yourself, sir? Mm, it's like you're not here. Okay, let me let me look for someone else over there at Lagos. Mr. Justin, Mr. Justin, can you kindly unmute yourself, Mr. Justin? Kindly unmute yourself. What is that one thing you learned today, specifically, when it comes to what I just shared with us? Mr. Justin, go ahead. Okay. Why, sir? Yeah. I... I learned that uh, when it came to prospecting, someone uh, doesn't rely fully like that in his own eyes, what he feels, and just what person should use the scripts and, you know, uh, because sometimes when you think about it, how will I start to go to be talking to this person? So you just get tired, but I think. For someone to use that script, you will be able to at least uh, cast out other doubts and rely on that and voice out. Exactly. Thank you so much, Mr. Justin. That's exactly what it's supposed to be. But you don't have to crack your head and be thinking what to say. Just use the script. That's all. Just use the script. Just Can someone send me a message on the chat saying, just use the script? Let's go. Send me the message on the chat saying, just use what? The script, that's all. While you're sending me those messages, remember, every company, every company that have products and services prospects, before there is a sale, there must be an arouser. And prospecting means to tell people of the benefits of the business. How can you buy a phone when you don't know the importance or the features of the phone? How can you buy a phone? Can you imagine uh, Samsung coming to tell you Samsung A17 only? And be bought. Nobody would who cares to know the Samsung is what is A17. They want to know what the phone will do. I get what I'm saying. They want to know what the phone can do. What the phone can do is the prospecting. They would, you know, you, you know, bring it up. Send me a message on the chat saying just use the script. All right. Thank you so much, each and every one of you that made it to tonight, today's business meeting, uh, Millionaire School. If you are watching the recorded video, make sure that you do jot down the lessons in your millionaire school notebooks. Really 